like this sequential. I'm here at uh, Plyco's Scrapyard in Fed, Alabama. Look at all this wonderful aluminum. I got my eyes on this right here. That's some thick shit. I'm into my mangle iron, but this is even thicker. I'm a, this is way too thick. I couldn't possibly use it on my semi truck. You got all these channels uh, looking for a, uh, a mount for a beacon, but that's a damn aluminum drive shaft right there. Oof, but look what happened to it. I see too many people this is all junk, but you can take all this aluminum and polish it. Give it a mirror, fit, uh, mirror uh, polish and it comes out really good. We got some boats here. We got this right here for only 36 bucks. This is some really thick shit. And yes, it looks completely trashed out, but watch what happens when I polish it. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, sun's bright. Nice and shiny. I just pressure washed it. I really did. <laughs> Been working on this, um, doing a shit ton of sanding. Mm, shiny. Ooh, shiny. Mm, shiny chrome. Yeah, I figured this would be like just a quick tutorial on how to use my welder for my father. Just, uh, see, I got this polished, uh, Quarter inch aluminum. Uh, got the Hobart. Uh, I'm running 53, 56 because I want it to be strong and corrosion resistance. And quarter inch, basically 700 is the settings. Doesn't need a spool in there. Just hooks up there for two things: the gas and. Uh, the electricity and it uh the electrodes gonna be positive polarity so that's pretty much that configuration right now not that but that for spool gun and as before just 107 basically the maximum settings switch turns on and off i want to make sure it's plugged up want to have argon this is the argon tank and this is the co2 we're not messing with that it should be off it's off argon's fully open and uh this that's actually a bit too high this needs to drop down to like 30. i'm just full gun just to kick out some argon oh fuck uh 25 Look at that, that'll work. And then for the spool gun, you obviously want your ground. Uh, don't fall, motherfucker. It's kind of hard doing this shit. Use your wire pliers, snip it. Always snip it before you weld it. You got your nozzle grease. This shit makes all the difference in the world. Because uh, so many times the splatter will uh, block this shit up. And then um, got welding helmet, of course. And then, uh, oh, you're gonna, you go forward with this instead of backwards. This is the way the air works. Not the best, but 
I literally just did that shit one handed while <laughs> on the phone. But yeah, that's what I got for my beacon mount. I'm gonna end up just sanding these things down. Yeah, that's freaking aluminum's easy as shit to weld. Now, one cool thing about polished aluminum is <laughs> look how clean that got. The beads a little bit different, but see that shit on the side. La, it's shiny again. It's as if nothing happened. Well, they got these little balls, but I oh, don't know. I just love how how clean fucking aluminum welding is in general. Probably gonna wire brush these, and I might flap disc them to flatten them out. But honestly, I, I wasn't going for pretty welds. Look at all that dust from welding. No, what dust? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Bling bling. All right, got the mount installed. It's got new bolts. Use Teflon tape so the nuts won't vibrate off, and then uh, put the diamond plate right here so uh, can mount a light to it. Try to polish it, but it was being a pain. Just wanting to get it shiny below, but just didn't have the time. It seems pretty damn sturdy, and for this, I can uh. The channels go all the way down, so I can always uh, extend it up real high. Kind of got it rigged up right now. Whatever this is doing is what the uh, beacon is doing. Shit at a chrome shop. That's fucking awesome. All in all, it's worth it. I saved about four hundred and fifty dollars making it myself, and it's polished.